فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم But it's shocking that this statement comes from the mouth of Abu Khadija. He said it's nice to hear that Barack Obama and David Cameron. So that is the statement of the ulama in regards to um, criticizing a person and saying that this person is a muqtadiyah or not, shouldn't be done by everybody. Now inshallah ta'ala, we're going to be speaking about some of the points um, Brother Abu Khadija said. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, he said, وَدَّخَلَ فِي الرَّافِضَةِ In his kitab Minhaj al-Sunnah al-Nabawiyyah, he said, وَدَّخَلَ فِي الرَّافِضَةِ مِنَ الزَّنَادِقَةِ الْمُنَافِقِينَ In the ranks of the munafiqeen, uh, the rafidah, sorry, in the ranks of the rafidah, entered into them is zanadiqah, heretics and hypocrites, were in their ranks. There were people who ascribe into the rafidah, who's Zanadiqa, Munafiqin, and he mentioned some of them, like the Ismailiyya and the Nusayriyya, وغيرهم and other than them. مِمَّا لَمْ يَكُنْ يَجْتَرِئَ أَنْ يَدْخُلْ عَسْكَرَ الْخَوَارِجِ Who hadn't got the audacity to be able to enter into the army of the Khawarij. They couldn't, they weren't able to. لِأَنَّ الْخَوَارِجَ كَانُوا عُبَادَ الْمُتَوَرِّعِينَ Because the Khawarij were worshippers, excessive worshippers of Allah. كما قال فيهم النبي as the messenger said about them صلى الله عليه وسلم يحقر أحدكم صلاته مع صلاتهم وصيامه مع صيامهم الحديث that one of you belittle your prayer in comparison to their prayer and you belittle your fasting in comparison to their fasting and then he said فأين هؤلاء الرافضة من الخوارج where do the رافضة stand in comparison to the خوارج who are worshippers who are متورعين ورع is a person who stays from things that are uh, doubtful. وَالْرَافِضَةُ تُفِيهِمْ مَنْ هُوَ مُتَعَبِّدُ الْمُتَوَرِّعُ زَاهِدُ Even amongst the Rafidah, there are those who are worshippers and there are those who are aesthetic. لَكِنْ بَتْ لَيْسُوا فِي ذَلِكَ مِثْلَ غَيْرِهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْأَهْوَاءِ But they are not like the rest of the innovators. فَالْمُعْتَزِلَةُ Like the Mu'tazila are أَعْقَلُ مِنْهُمْ Are more smarter than the Rafidah. وَأَعْلَمُ وَأَدْيَنُ And they are more knowledgeable and they have more religion. والكذب والفجور فيهم أقل منهم في الرافضة. And lying is little in the Mu'tazila than it is in the Rafidah. وَالزَّيْدِيَةُ مِنَ الشِّيْعَةِ And the Zaydiyah are from the Shia. خَيْرٌ مِّنْهُمْ are better than the Rafidah. أَقْرَبُ إِلَى الصِّدْقِ They are closer to truthfulness. وَالْعَدْلِ And they are closer to justness. وَالْعِلْمِ And they are closer to knowledge. وَلَيْسَ فِي أَهْلِ الْأَهْوَاءِ And there are not amongst the people of whims and desires. أَصْدَقُ وَلَا أَعْبَدُ مِنَ الْخَوَارِجِ from the peoples of whims and desires, the innovators, there is no one who is more truthful and there are no one who is more worshipping than the Khawarij. And even then, And even then, they deal with all of these groups. Justice. They're very just towards them. Insafa. And they are fair with them. وَلَا يَظْلِمُونَهُمْ And they don't oppress them. فَإِنَّ الظُّلْمَ حَرَامٌ Because oppression and exceeding your limits to a person is haram. كما تقدم as previously been mentioned. بَلْ رَاذَ أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ لِكُلِّ طَائِفَةِ رَاذَ أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ To all the deviated sects مِنْ هَاُولَاءِ خَيْرٌ مِنْ بَعْضِ مِنْ بَعْضِ Are more nicer and they are more fair and they are more greater to one of them, to each other. بَلْ رَاذَ هُمْ لِلْرَافِضَةِ خَيْرٌ وَأَعْدَلُ مِنْ بَعْضِ الْرَافِضَةِ لِبَعْضِ أهل السنة are better for the Rafidah than they are for one another. أهل السنة show more great noble characteristics uh, to how they deal with the Rafidah than the Rafidah deal with each other. انتهى كلامه the speech of Ibn Taymiyyah is over. Ibn Taymiyyah also even said, رحمه الله, he said, وَقَدْ ذَهَبَ كَثِيرٌ مِّن مُبْتَدِعَةِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Ibn Taymiyyah said, a lot of the innovators from the Muslims, they went. مِنَ الرَّافِضَةِ وَالْجَهْمِيَةِ From the Rafidah and from the Jahmiyyah. They went where? وَغَيْرِهِمْ إِلَى بِلَادِ الْكُفَّارِ They went to the land of the disbelievers. فَأَسْلَمَ عَلَى يَدَيْ خَلْقٌ كَثِيرٌ A large amount of people took Islam on their hands. 
وانتفعوا بذلك and they benefited وصاروا مسلمين and they became Muslims مبتدعين Muslims were innovators وهو خير and it is better من أن يكونوا كفارا for them to be disbelievers it's better that they are Muslims were innovators than for them to be disbelievers مجموعة الفتاوى the 13th volume page 96 but it's shocking that this statement comes from the mouth of Abu Khadija. It's shocking. Because Abu Khadija, may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala guide him, and a year or so ago, taqriban, approximately, in Ramadan, he, I don't use this social media, walillahi alhamdulillah, I haven't opened a Facebook, I haven't opened a Twitter, I haven't got Instagram, I don't have these. I don't use it at all. Personally, I don't use it. But it's, Something that I, a, a very beloved person to me has shown me that Abu Khadija, he, up, uh, he put up a year ago, تقريباً, approximately it was Ramadan last year, that he put up this tweet and he said the following. He said, it's nice to hear that Barack Obama and David Cameron wish Muslims a pleasant Ramadan. They praise Islam and called people to a better understanding. Nice to hear Barack Obama and David Cameron wish Muslims a pleasant Ramadan. They praised Islam and called people to a better understanding. Meaning better understanding of uh, Islam. Um, now, the, now my question inshallah is, as the poet said, أَحَرَامٌ عَلَى بَلَابِرِهِ الدَّوْحُ Halal للطير من كل جنسي. This poetry or this line of poetry is How comes that the nightingales are not allowed to live in the lofty trees which is its home? It is its home. While all the other birds are allowed to live on it but the nightingale isn't allowed. How is it that everyone else can't praise the Muslims? But you're allowed to praise the disbelievers and the kuffar, the heads of the kuffar. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah spoke about the likes of that action. Ibn Taymiyyah said, فَمَنَّا قَشَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَى الذُّنُوبِ Anyone who discusses with the Muslims in their shortcomings. وَهُوَ لَا يُنَاقِشُ الْكُفَّارِ And he doesn't ever discuss the disbelievers, their shortcomings and their mistakes. وَالْمُنَافِقِينَ And he doesn't discuss the hypocrites, their actions. Ala kufrihim wa nifaqihim in their disbelief and in their hypocrisy. He doesn't ever speak about it. Bel rather, he might even go over by doing what? Warubbama yamdahuhum. He may even praise the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Wa yu'adhimuhum and he glorifies them. Dalla it indicates. Ala annahum in a'adham in nasi jahlan wa dhulma. This indicates that this individual is from the greatest, most, he is from the most ignorant of people. And the most oppressive of people. If his ignorance doesn't lead him to disbelieve and hypocrisy. Subhanallah. So for you to praise them and for us to speak nice to a Muslim. So Allah wa ta'ala who's a Muslim. For us to speak to them. So Allah wa ta'ala guides them to the haqq. It's not allowed. In the eyes of Abu Khadija. And whether the disbeliever can be praised or not, I'm not speaking about that. And I'm not saying that it's permissible or it's not permissible. I'm just trying to elaborate on the point uh, of the double standards. There's double standards. There's a scale that they scale other people with and there's a scale separately made for them. Then our brother Abu Khadija went on to say, look at that miskeen fool who debated that takfiri. Um, all I want to reply back to is the word he used, which is um, fool. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, he said, فَإِنَّ الرَّدَّ بِمُجَرَّدِ الشَّتْمِ وَالتَّهْوِيلِ To make a refutation based on insult. لا يعجز عنه أحد. No one is unable to do this. Insulting and calling names doesn't require, it doesn't require knowledge. It doesn't require any form of you being an expertise in a particular field. Insulting is something 
that everyone can do. Well, insanu the person, law annahu yunadhiru if he is debating, al mushrikina if he is debating with the pagans and the polytheists, wa ahlu al kitab and the people of that scripture, la kana alayhi an yadhkura min al hujjati ma yubayyinu bihi al haq. It is upon him to bring the evidences. Ah, it is upon him to bring the proofs in which he wants to clarify the haq with. And he also has to do what? وَالْبَاطِلِ الَّذِي مَعَهُمْ And he has to mention the falsehood which are with the opponents. Majmu' al-Fatawa, the fourth volume, page 186. So, name-calling and insulting is not something that requires knowledge. It doesn't require you to be a expertise in a field. It doesn't even require for you to take time out and to learn it. Whatsoever. But insult rather is for those who are deni, those who are low. And Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala have mercy upon him, he mentioned something very amazing, which is, he says, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ طَبْعُهُ طَبْعُ الْخِنْزِيرِ يَمُرُّ بِالطَّيِّبَاتِ فَلَا يَلْوِي عَلَيْهَا فَإِذَا قَامَ الْإِنسَانُ عَنْ رَجِعْهِ قَمَّهُ وَهَكَذَا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ يَسْمَعُ مِنْكَ وَيَرَى مِنَ الْمَحَاسِنِ أَضْعَافَ أَضْعَافِ الْمَسَاوِئِ فَلَا يَحْفَظُهَا وَلَا يَنْقُلُهَا وَلَا تُنَاسِبُهُ فَإِذَا رَأَى سَقْطَةً أَوْ كَلِمَةً عَوْرَاء وَجَدَ بُغْيَتَهُ وَمَا يُنَاسِبُهَا فَجَعَلَهَا فَاكِهَتَهُ وَنُقْلَهُ Ibn al-Qayyim said that some of the people have the nature similar to the pig which is if he goes by good food he doesn't give it any look he just goes by it and he doesn't give it any look so if he goes by your good actions he will just go by it but he rushes towards feces if a man relieves himself or a woman relieves herself it will run to the feces the filth and he said وَهَكَذَا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ and many people are like this. Yasma Uminka, they see they hear from you, or even see from you with their own eyes. What do they see? Minal Mahasini Adaf Adaf al Masawi. They see from you or hear from you a lot of good qualities. Falayah Fadhuha. But they do not, they don't keep this. And they don't memorize them. Walayan Kuluha and they don't also pass it on. They don't talk to the people reminding them of you, this good character of yours. And it doesn't befit him. It doesn't feel like it, it's what he needs to say. But when they see in you uh, the least mistake, the least mistake, or they, a, a speech of yours or an action, what does they do? They react immediately. They re react immediately and wholeheartedly. And this is what they feast over. And it reminds me of the statement of the poet where he said, وَلَقَدْ مَرَرْتُ عَلَى الْلَمْئِيمِ يَسُبُّنِي فَمَضَيْتُ ثُمَّ تَقُلْتَ لَا يَعْنِينِ I go by the one who is weak, who insults me, but he's low. I go by him and I say, I reply by saying, maybe he doesn't intend me. And I don't give it any form or any attention whatsoever. Then our brother, Abu Khadija Hadahullah, he went on to say, and then they put up, um, they put, uh, no, then they put onto YouTube, claiming that he represents Salafiyyah. He represents himself. He does not represent Salafiyyah. That's what he said. And I wanted to remind the brother, it seems from his words, Wallahu A'lam, Allah knows, that I'm not a Salafi. Or I'm not a person who was upon the manhaj of Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Claims that he represents Salafiyyah, he represents himself. He does not represent Salafiyyah. So if that's what he means, then Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, his statement is what I'm going to remind you. A statement of his which is authentically transmitted from him by his great student, Al-Khalal, in Kitab al-Sunnah. He said, Imam Ahmad, إِخْرَاجُ النَّاسِ مِنَ السُنَّةِ شَدِيدٌ Taking the people out of the Sunnah is serious. It's a severe matter. It is not a very light issue. To take a person out of the Sunnah. And Al Shaykh Al Allama, Shaykh Salah Al Fawzan, Hafidahullah Ta'ala, he said, La yam bagheeli talabat al mubtadi'ina wa gayrihim. It is not befitting for the students of knowledge, the beginners, 
وغيرهم أن أضذن ذم من العامة from the general mass أن يشتغلوا بالتبديع والتفسيق for them to busy themselves in saying فلان is a مبتدع فلان is a transgressor لأن ذلك because that is أمر خطير is a dangerous matter وهم ليس عندهم علم because with those people there's no knowledge and there's no دراية comprehension regarding this particular matter في هذا الموضوع the موضوع of تبديع and تفسيق they don't have no knowledge of it the general mass don't know it and the student of knowledge who's just started to embark on this path he doesn't have knowledge of this topic وأيضا هذا يحدث العداوة والبغضاء بين بيض ف وأيضا هذا يحدث العداوة والبغضاء بينهم and he said this will also bring amongst the lines of the Muslims enmity and hate towards one another فالواجب what is obligatory is عليهم الاشتغال بطلب العلم that they busy themselves with seeking knowledge وكشف ألسنة وكف ألسنتهم عما لا فائدة فيه and that they withhold from their tongues that which there's no benefit in it بل فيه مضرة rather there's a harm in it عليهم on them وعلى غيرهم and on other than them so this goes directly to our brother Abu Khadija if you're a student of knowledge who's just started to embark on this path of seeking knowledge inshallah ta'ala which we hope for you or you're from the general mass then don't busy yourself with saying fulan is a mubtadi and fulan is a fasiq and these are matters which are not only left for the people of knowledge and the people who understand uh, Shaykh Salah Al-Fawzan's statement is very clear also Shaykh Abdul Muhsin Al-Abbad Rahimahullah, the great scholar, Asalullah Rabb al Arsh al Adim, I ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, and you deem Alihi Nirma Tawal Afiyah, and Allah carries for him blessings, inshaAllah Ta'ala, and Allah gives him a healthy life. In his Sharah of Sunnah Abi Dawood, Rahimahullah, he was asked about the issue of a tasarru fi tabdir, for the person to hasten on labeling people as mubtadi'ah, and the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala, I think it's the audio 519 or 516, one of the two. One of the two I'm confusing it with. He speaks over there regarding it. Shaykh ibn Baz, rahimahullah, he said, هذا العص عصر الرفق والصبر والحكمة وليس عصر الشدة الناس أكثرهم في جهل في غفلة إثار للدنيا فلا بد من الصبر ولا بد من الرفق حتى تصل الدعوة وحتى يبلغ وحتى يبلغ الناس وحتى يبلغ الناس وحتى يعلموا وَنَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ لِلْجَمِيعَ الْهِدَايَةِ Shaykh Abdul Aziz Nubaz, he said this is the period and the time of kindness, time of tenderness, leanness in the da'wah, patience and wisdom is needed. It is not a time of harshness. That's what Shaykh Abdul Aziz Nubaz said. The people, the majority of them are upon ignorance. They are heedless and they're running after the dunya. So what is necessary is patience. وَلَا بُدَّ مِنَ الرِّفْقِ What is needed is kindness and tenderness. It is required. And the person who is allowed to criticize people and is, as Sheikh Salah Al-Fawzan mentioned, a person of knowledge. And inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to read you other ulama who've mentioned this. Abdul Hayy Al-Laknawi, rahimahullah, he mentions that وَيُشْتَرَضُ فِي الْجَارِحِ وَالْمُعَدِّلِ الْعِلْمُ وَالتَّقْوَى وَالْوَرَعْ وَالصِّدْقِ وَالتَّجَنُّبْ عَنِ التَّعَصُّبْ وَمَعْرِفَةُ أَسْبَابِ الْجَرْحِ وَالتَّسْكِيَةِ وَمَنْ لَيْسَ كَذَلِكَ لَا يُقْبَلُ مِنْهُ الْجَرْحُ وَالتَّسْكِيَةِ It is a condition for the one who wants to criticize and the one who wants to praise. That he has knowledge, he is pious. He's a person with characteristics of wara. If something is doubtful, he will stay away from it. والصدق, he's truthful. والتجنب عن التعصب, he's far from being fanatic. معرفة أسباب الجرح والتعديل. He knows the causes or the reasons of criticism and praising. ومن ليس كذلك anyone who's not like that, who doesn't have those characteristics, لا يقبل منه الجرح. Criticism isn't taken from him. ولا التسكية and praising is not taken from him. تاج الدين السكي رحمه الله يسأل من لا يكون من لا يكون عالما بأسبابهما أي الجرح والتعديل لا يقبلون منه لا بإطلاق ولا بتقييد. Tajuddin Sid Subki, he said, the one who doesn't have 
knowledge of the reasons of Jarh al-Ta'deel. The scholars of this field, they would not accept from him. They wouldn't accept from him Jarh and they would not accept from him praising. Not restricted or not even unrestricted. They won't accept it from him whatsoever. Badr al-Din ibn Jama'ah said something like that as well. He said, مَن لَا يَكُونُ عَالِمًا بِالْأَسْبَابِ بِالْأَسْبَابِ لَا يُقْبَلُ مِنْهُ جَرْحٌ وَلَا تَعْدِيلٌ وَلَا بِإِطْلَاقٍ وَلَا بِتَقْيِيدٍ Anyone who is not an alim of the causes that bring جَرْحُ تَعْدِيلٍ He doesn't know it. It is not accepted from him. His criticism and his praising, whether it's restricted or unrestricted. Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah, in his sharh, Nukbatul Fikr, his Rusatul Nadar, he says, إِنْ صَدَرَ الْجَرْحُ مِنْ غَيْرِ عَارِفٍ بِأَسْبَابِهِ لَمْ يُعْتَبَرْ بِهِ If the criticism occurs from other than a person who knows it, comes from somebody who doesn't know, who doesn't have knowledge of it, he doesn't know the reasons of it, he doesn't know when it can be put on a person and when it, and the conditions, لَمْ يُعْتَبَرْ بِهِ It is not taken into consideration. He also said, تُقْبَلُ التَّزْكِيَةً The praising is accepted. مِنْ عَارِفٍ بِأَسْبَابِهَا A person who knows its reasons. لَا مِنْ غَيْرِ عَارِفٍ Not from the one who doesn't know. وَيَنْبَغِي And what is also needed is أَنْ لَا يَقْبَلَ الْجَرْحُ إِلَّا مِنْ عَدْلْ مُتَيَقَّضْ And it's also required that the criticism is not accepted except from a person who is reliable and a person who is alert. And Imam Al-Dhahabi rahimahullah He's one is the last one I'm going to conclude with. When he's in his book, big book, Tadkirat al when he was speaking about the biography of Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Huqqa ala al muhaddithi ayya tawarra fi ma yu'addih, wa an yas'ala ahl al ma'rifati wal wara'. He said, It is the rights of the muhaddith, and it's obligatory on the muhaddith that he takes the safer of the two paths in that which he's going to convey, and that he also asks, the people of understanding, the people who are wa'ahlul wara' لِيُعِينُوهُ so they can aid him عَلَىٰ إِضَاحِ مَرْوِيَاتِهِ to clarify the narrations for him وَلَا سَبِيلَ and there is no way إِلَىٰ أَنْ يَصِيرَ الْعَارِفُ الَّذِي يُزَكِّ نَقَلَةَ الْأَخْبَارِ وَيَجْرَحُهُمْ جِهْبِذًا and a person, there is no way for him to be one that knows that which he can praise a person for and that which he can criticize a person for. There is no way for him to become one who knows this, except by what? إِلَّا بِإِدْمَانِ الطَّلَبِ He is consistent on seeking knowledge. وَالْفَحْصِ He researches. And هذا الشَّأْنِ This matter. وَكَثْرَةُ الْمُذَاكَرَةِ And he revises a lot. وَالسَّهَرِ He spends time awake. وَالْيَقْضِ وَالتَّيَقْضِ Sorry. And he's always, he is alert. وَالْفَهْمِ He's one who understands very well. Ma'at taqwa, and he has, he's pious in his religion. Ma'at taqwa wa deen al mateen wal insaf. He's a person who's fair and just, gives the credit where it deserves. Wa taraddud ila al ulama, he always is going to the scholars. Wal itqan, he is solidified. Wa illa taf'al. If that is what you have, do it. Fada'anka al kitaba lasta minha wa law sawwatta wajhaka bil midadi. Put the book down. Ah. You're not from those people. Don't fool the people by pretending what you're not. Put the books down. Stop pretending like you're a person of knowledge. Even if you pour the ink over your head, face, just to pretend that you're a person who studies and who seeks knowledge, it doesn't show the reality. If you sense from yourself that you have understanding, and you're truthful, and religion, and you're a person who has the characteristics of wara, you'll always take the safest path. وَإِلَّا فَلَا تَفْعَلْ If not, then don't do it. وَإِنْ غَلَبَ عَلَيْكَ الْهَوَىٰ If desires overcomes you as an individual. وَلَا عَصَبِيَّ And you're fanatic. You're always attached to, uh, to a لِرَأِي a view. وَلِمَذْهَبٍ a method, a belief, sorry. You're attached to a madhab that you're of. فَبِاللَّهِ لَا تَتْعَبْ By Allah, don't, be, don't tire yourself. وَإِنْ عَرَفْتَ أَنَّكَ مُخَلَّطْ مُخَلِّطْ If you realize that you're one who mixes things up, مُخَبَّطْ you're mixing things up. You can't distinguish things from one another. Muhmilun lihudud illahi. You're forsaking Allah's boundaries. Farihna minka. Give us ease from yourself. Please don't do it to us and put us through a lot of headache. So that is the statement of the ulama in regards to um, criticizing a person and saying that this person is a mubtadi or not. Shouldn't be done by everybody. 
And our brother Abu Khadija doesn't hold these characteristics that I mentioned. Idman al-Talab is a person who is consistent on seeking knowledge. Al-Fahmu, understanding. These are not characteristics that are apparent from him. And inshallah ta'ala, my advice for him personally in regards to seeking knowledge and also in regards for him to perfect the Qur'an and to learn the statement of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And not only that, to even at least give time to the khutbah al haja in which you open the, uh, the Friday sermon with. At least say it properly. Inshallah ta'ala, I will leave that to the end, inshallah ta'ala. Abu Khadija went on to say in, um, about me talking to a khariji like this khariji is some sort of man of sunnah and a wali of Allah. May Allah give you jannah. May Allah give you firdaus. The Prophet said, Hum kilabun nar. He said, Oh Shaykh Fulan, oh Shaykh Fulan, debating with him. You are my brother. Oh brother, please speak, speak, speak. And then they put it up on, uh, on YouTube. Salafi debate a takfiri. So this issue, uh, brother is criticizing me for speaking nice to the brother. And I before mentioned, brothers, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent Nabiullah Musa and he also sent his brother Harun. And both of them were sent to Fir'aun, a man who claimed that Ana Rabbukumul A'la. And the brother I was talking to is not worse than Fir'aun. And I'm not better than Nabiullah Musa and Harun. So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, what did he order Musa and Harun? Idhaba ila Fir'aun innahu tagha. فَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلَ اللَّيِّنَ لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَرَ وَيَخْشَى Speak to him in a very kind, soft way. Allah Taala may guide him and he might come to his senses. But this issue, brothers, of how I spoke to the brother, it has a chapter within the religion and it's called Al-Mudarah. It's called Mudarat. Al-Mudarah. It's called Al-Mudarah. And the mudara is ja'izatun bil kitab wa sunnah wa amali salaf al ummah. And it's permissible if you look at the kitab, if you look at the sunnah, and if you look at the actions of the pious predecessors, it's permissible. And it can even sometimes be highly recommended li maslahat al mu'tabarah. Because of a benefit that is seen by the sharia, it might even be of benefit. It should be done now. Ibn Battal rahimahullah he said, al mudarat min akhlaq al mu'minin. The mudarat is from the characteristics of the believers. And he's going to explain to us what mudarat means, inshaAllah ta'ala. What is it? وَهِيَ مِنْ أَقْوَى أَسْبَابِ الْأُلْفَةِ بَيْنَهُمْ And this is one of the greatest ways to bring the, the ulf, love from the other person. فَإِنْ قَالَ بَعْضُهُمْ That's what he said. Al-Imam ibn Battal, رحمه الله تعالى. And there's evidence for this. Al-Imam al-Bukhari, رحمه الله, he narrated in his sahih, on the authority of Urwa ibn al-Zubayr, that Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she mentions that Uyayna ibn Husnin is that the Nabi. He asked permission onto the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what did he do? He told them to let him in. He said, اِذِنُوا لَهُ Allow him to come in. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he criticized him. He said, فَبِئْسَ إِبْنُ الْعَشِيرَةِ أَوْ بِئْسَ أَخُ الْعَشِيرَةِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he criticized this man. But when the man came in, فَلَمَّا دَخَلَا When the man entered, أَلَانَ لَهُ الْكَلَامِ The Prophet softened his words for the man. فَقُلْتُ عَائِشَةَ said, يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ O Messenger of Allah. قُلْتَ You said, ما قُلْتَ that which you said. You said about him that which you said. ثم ألنت له في القول أن after that you soften the speech for him. فقال the prophet said to عائشة يا عائشة إن شر الناس منزلة عند الله the people who have the worst place in the eyes of Allah تبارك وتعالى is من تركه أو دع أو أو دعه الناس التقاء فحشه. it is the person who the people they leave him ها because of his vulgar speech and the the things that come out of his mouth. And Imam Ibn Hajar, on the commentary of that hadith, he brought the statement of Imam Al-Qurtubi. That Imam Al-Qurtubi said, في الحديث, in the hadith is جواز مداراتهم. That it is permissible to use this method of mudarat, which is to speak soft to a person. اتقاء شرهم, to repel their evil. ما لم يؤدي ذلك, as long as that doesn't lead to إلى المداهنة في دين الله تعالى. As long as it doesn't lead to mudahana, 
which means that the religion of Allah wa ta'ala is dismantled and harm is caused to the religion of Allah wa ta'ala. What does mudarat mean? Ibn Battar rahimahullah ta'ala he mentions to us. Mudarat means hiya rifqu bil jahili fi ta'allum. It is to be soft to the ignorant when you're teaching him. Wa bil fasiqi and also in the transgressor and the criminal individual. When you're prohibiting him from an action, you speak to him in a very nice way. And you leave off being harsh to him. So it's to leave off being harsh to him. And you speak to him in a very soft way. Our messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he done mudarat alayhi salatu wa sallam. In that hadith that I just mentioned. And then also, Abdullah ibn Ubayy ibn Salol, who was the Rasul Munafiqeen, the heads of the hypocrites. When Abdullah ibn Ubayy ibn Salol did what he did in the city of Medina, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dealt with him in a way of mudarat. حَتَّى لَا يُثِيرَ عَلَيْهِ قَوْمُ وَعَشِرَتَ So that the family and the people that he's from, it doesn't cause a problem. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looked at the, better, the bigger picture. And... So it's permissible to soften the words for, for the person uh, in our sharia. And it has a chapter, and the scholars, they talk about it. Brothers uh, and sisters who are listening, I brought to you the statement of Imam Ibn Taymiyyah when he praised the Ra'id, the Khawarij. And we, when he also even praised the Zaydiyyah. And he also pay, praised the Mu'tazila by saying, Hum a'qalu minhum wa a'lamu adyanu than the Rafidah. So that isn't something that I was the first to do. 